everybody, this is John Petrucci from Dream Theater. I'm hanging out at Roadrunner Records with my good friend, Mr. Matt Heapy. Yep, how you doing? Matt from Trivium. I'm here with John, and we're about to hang out and show you guys some guitar stuff. So, ever since I got a hold of Rock Discipline, I've been using that at pretty much every single show, even back when we were first starting up trying to get signed. So I've been using that, and at one point, I always had the booklet with me, then I started to memorize it all. I always had my metronome, because one right. of the big tips you said was always use a metronome Absolutely, practice. absolutely. And I haven't had mine out in a couple months, so I've got it ready to go as soon as we play the Orlando show. But um, yeah, I love those exercises, and a lot of the, like my really favorite ones were the ones I was, I was showing you earlier, but the triplet style, the... Right. That one, and then also the... Right. But one of the things I've been noticing lately while I've been picking, I've been kind of getting like too much motion going on here. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and like when I come up on the high strings, it's been getting all like wonky, like on the way down. Right. So I was curious, like, as far as motion goes, is it all from here, here, or should this not be going at all? Well, here's the thing. I mean, first of all, I'm, and we talked about this the other day, I'm a firm believer that there's so many different yeah. ways of playing. You know, I've seen guys play like with all elbow, which freaks me out, I don't know how. <laughs> but you know, but it sounds amazing, or with that motion, or, or with the wrist. I mean, for me, it's primarily the wrist. You know, I like to kind of like, the, the way that these guitars are designed, there's, there's no mounting rings like you see there. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to lock my pinky underneath there. So it's kind of like, you know, it gives me this nice sort of bass. Yeah. Um, and then my palm goes on the, the bridge, and um, I, uh, I pick mostly from the wrist. Now, I, I, I notice this about myself, like as I go in, in between certain speeds, that sometimes my thumb kind of does mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, bad thumb. Yeah, that's what mine's been doing a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I don't pick like that, mm -hmm. but sometimes I find that I kind of adjust. Now, there's a way that you could actually work on that and mm -hmm. get around it. And uh, it's actually something I learned from my good friend Mike Mangini. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. A, a drum technique. and and. Um, basically, if you're going to be playing from the wrist, and you can just do this on one string or one note, you know, what you do is uh, you start with, with uh, let, let's say, like a, a basic kind of eighth note type of feel. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we don't have a metronome, but we can sort of do, let's see, uh, like. Pay a lot of close attention to what your te technique is mm -hmm. doing, that you're just going alternate like this. And then to try to keep a consistent thing when you go fast, you just double the time. So you go from like a... Right, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get it so that when you're changing between the two techniques, you're not necessarily doing something different, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you can kind of... Right, and that's great to do with the metrum, you know, they're, they're called bursts, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, you know, you might want to spend more time on the slower speed and then just have those little bursts of quick notes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's a really good way, it's a good barometer to see if you're actually changing your technique. Not only that, but it helps you go back and forth between, if there is sort of a change, it makes that change smoother. Yeah. So if you find yourself doing that, it might just be because of like what you're playing, what tempo you're playing, mm -hmm. and, and the, the goal is to get it more consistent, I guess. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I've definitely mm -hmm. noticed like in the tremolo style, right. or when I'm playing like, like that doesn't really happen, but when it is slow, like when I was trying to learn the one exercise you showed yeah. me the other day, and I take that slow, I start right. getting all sorts of. You find you are doing that right now. Now play for example, like just like a rhythm fast thing you would do. Yeah. Or, right. Okay. Yeah. So what you're doing there is you you have like a very tight, mm -hmm. you know, percussive technique that's like really locked in and yeah. super powerful. So you want to get that applied to to the higher strings, the higher strings and the slower speeds as well. Okay. That's the whole thing. Yeah. You're doing it already. Hey, this is John Petrucci from Dream Theater. Be sure to check out our latest album, A Dramatic Turn of Events. It's available now. Hey, this is Matt from Trivium. Our new record is out. It's called In Waves. Make sure you check it out.